Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to grid calc. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Grid Calc is one of those simple little utilities that can come in really helpful. I wrote it for an upcoming event that I plan to participate in where I needed to calculate the distance and the bearing between two grids. Now it's based on work by VA3DB. Uh, they had wrote a simple little command line uh, application where you could enter, uh, where you could call the command and enter a couple of grid squares and it would feed some information back to you. All I did was expand on that to give us a cool little GUI interface. So let's take a quick look at it and then we'll show you how to get it installed and running on your Raspberry Pi. So once you open up grid calc, this is the little screen that you're going to be presented with and you just need to give it two pieces of information. First, you need to give it your own grid square and then you need to give it the other grid square or the DX grid square. So we'll use uh, FN25DI in this particular case. You hit continue and it's going to give you the distance in both kilometers and in miles. And then below that, it's going to give you uh, the degrees that you uh, would be pointing your antenna in if you wanted to try to make a contact with that particular station. So in this case, you can see it's 858 miles away, and I would need to be pointing the antenna uh, to 37 degrees to be aimed directly at that grid square. So let's jump over to another Raspberry Pi, and I'll show you guys how to get this installed and working on your system. So the first thing we need to do is head over to my GitHub site. That's github.com forward slash km4ack. Once you get there, you're going to click on PyScripts right here. If you can't find uh, PyScripts right on this front page, you can click Repositories first and then click on the PyScripts. Uh, repository. Let's go ahead and click on that and once this page loads you want to start scrolling down. We're looking for an application called or a script called grid-calc. Once you find grid-calc go ahead and click on it so that we can open up the next page. On this page make certain that you come over and click the raw button right here. If you don't click this raw button it's not going to download and run correctly. So this is a critical step. Go ahead and click it and you should be presented with a page that looks like this. That's just a uh, plain text page. Let's come right up to the top in our address bar. We're going to highlight that address and press control C to copy it. Now we need to go ahead and open up our terminal window. In the terminal window, let's move to our bin directory. Now this does assume that you're working with Buildapy. So go ahead and move to the bin directory. Once you're there, let's use the wget command and then paste in that link that we just copied. Okay, go ahead and press return here. And then let's just clear the screen. Now, if we do the ls command, you'll see that we have grid calc, but it's in gray. We need to make that executable, so let's run chmod plus x grid hyphen calc. We'll go ahead and press return, and if we run that ls command again, you'll see that we now have grid calc in green, which indicates that it is executable. From this point, we can just run grid calc. And the first time we run it, it's going to tell us that uh, it has created a new menu shortcut item for us and that we can start it from the Pi menu. So let's go ahead and just get rid of this terminal window. Now, the first time you start this, you are probably going to be missing some dependencies. If that's the case, don't worry. Uh, the, the application is going to take care of it for you. You will be presented with this screen here that says uh, you're missing the dependencies. Should we install them now? We need to go ahead and click Install Dependencies. 
and you'll get this next little pop-up window don't close it uh, and it may take it quite a few minutes to get everything updated in the background uh, so it's updating the repository first after the repository is up to date it will close the first window open the second one and start getting the dependencies that it needs once those are installed uh, that will automatically close and you will be presented with the grid calc application and guys that's as easy as we can possibly make it so at this point if we enter em65tv and we'll just do uh let's do dm67ab and don't put a space in there it probably isn't going to work very well for us we'll hit uh continue here and it's going to run that calculation for us. In this particular case, you can see that I'm nearly 1,200 miles away, and I need to point my antenna uh, in a uh, towards 280 degrees to be pointing at that particular station. So I hope this helps you get the application up and running if this is something that you would be interested in having on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, somewhere in the future, I will add this uh, as a utility that we can install with build a -Pi. All right, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you found value in this video. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. Okay, so once you boot up, <clears throat> you don't boot it, you open it. Let's try again.